What up, Brawlers? Welcome back to our ongoing series for Super Fantasy Brawl. We're calling it Know Your Champions, and today we will be understanding Dugrin, the Warden of the North. So, Dugrin has a 2 armor and 6 health, which means you can take quite a beating from conventional attacks, but you really have to watch out for any type of damage that's going to ignore defense. That's your pulls and pushes, your traps, and lots of other abilities that go to deal direct damage. But when you're just talking about, you know, normal attacks, he's actually going to take quite a beating. This is the leveled up version of Dugrin. He gets an additional health. And he gets adjacent enemies may only target Dugrin. So another health makes Dugrin last a little longer. He actually, even though he's wearing a helmet in this picture, he, he has a lot of hats that he can wear. This particular feature of Dugrin is very much a tank. Not only can he take a beating, but he can force enemies to attack him, which in theory keeps your more vulnerable champion safe. He also has a fair amount of board manipulation. He's good at holding objectives, and he can support his allies. So again, Dugrin can do a lot of stuff. Uh, jumping right in, this is Dugrin's reaction. Hold ground. It is a red core. The target cannot be displaced by this attack. So this reaction obviously provides no defense whatsoever. So if the enemies are going to kill you, it's not going to do any good. But if they're trying to displace you with an attack out of uh, you know, whatever objective you're trying to hold, it can stop that. Now, if the enemy has more than one way of moving your champions, um, then you might be SOL. But a lot of times they won't have multiple ways to um, displace you. A lot of times, you know, you set up and claim an objective, and then the enemy um, then you know takes their turn knocking you off of it. If you can stop them from doing it with this card, this can quickly turn into points. So hold ground is a great tool to have in your belt. Here we have knockdown. If uh, this was area control, now we're actually kind of into buffing. Um, and there's some damage in here too. So this is a yellow core ability. It is a movement of two. It does, it's a two damage attack. And then after the attack, allies gain an additional plus two against the target till the end of the turn. So this has the potential for a pretty big play. Of course, of course be aware that allies does not mean Dubber himself. So again, you're going to have to use other champions to deal damage. But if you have three attack cards in your hand of the three different core, core colors, um, you know, starting with knockdown could result in a bunch of damage. Especially when you think about characters like Wrath or Kalel that have access to poison. Suzao also has access to double. Those guys can really, really benefit from knockdown. Alright, here we have Mighty Blow. This is a blue core, one movement, one uh, damage attack, and then after the attack, push two. Each target damaged by the push suffers stun. Push 2 is good area control. You can you know, hopefully knock enemies out of a range of objectives. If they're in a situation where they can't be pushed or they can't be pushed 2, um, you got potential for a stun. So that's how can you know, control. Stun removes, um, forces the opponent to remove a card of the character that was stunned from their hand. And since you draw at the end of your turn, what that means is... Well, when, they're st when their new turn starts, they'll have to be down a card. Stun's actually a really powerful ability, and um, I wouldn't be surprised to see decks that are trying to get as much stun done as possible, because if you get stunned two, three times, I mean, you, you're, you're pretty host. It's a nice sprinkle of control into Dugrin's repertoire. Here we have Shield Slam. It's another blue core, a movement of one, a dash of two, and then each adjacent enemy suffers one push. So Shield Slam... Uh, pretty good area control. I'm just giving you a visual example of it. So we move up, we dash two which in a straight line, and we get to put a push against everyone that we, and all the enemies that we come into contact with. Here we have Blizzard, red core, movement of two, uh, two strength attack, and after the attack, if damage was dealt, each other enemy suffers one damage. So this is unblockable global damage that this card can deal, um, but of course you have to actually successfully deal the damage. So if you were attacking a two armor uh, champion, then there would be no effect. Or if a champion played a card that increased their a reaction, that increased their armor, then this card would also do nothing. But um, there's you know, a way to sneak damage through armor targets. And uh, you know global damage is good. Um, it can help you kind of you know get some easy kills late game if you're playing pulling this off once or twice. Here we have onwards. It is a yellow core, movement of one, uh, draw of one, uh, which is voluntary. So if you like your hand, you might not actually want to draw a card because you have to discard your hand in your turn. So you might, if you pick up something that you can't use now, but it will be good later, it could potentially be bad. But draw is voluntary. So 
you know, do only do it if you need it. And then each ally may dash one. Um, so that means effectively on a three champion team, everyone's going to get one move. Um, that can actually, considering how, you know, how objectives work in this game, that can actually be extremely powerful. So it's a good opener. So it would like to kind of you know, get everyone up and into the action if that's your goal. But it's also pretty good if you wanted to get everyone just moved onto one objective quickly. And the draw is always nice too. All right, so that's Dugrin. There's a lot going on here. Um, he doesn't have huge stamina potential, but he can do a lot and relatively hard to kill. But I would say don't get complacent in the fact that you know the enemy can definitely chip away at him. I do feel that being a higher defense value character, like it makes a lot more sense to be putting health into him than into someone like Wrath or Gwyn, which might seem weird because you're like, well, but Wrath and Gwyn are so easy to kill. But yeah, but putting it one health back on them isn't really going to help them much. There's still no defense, so like a big, strong attack is going to just uh, smack them right down. Counterplay, obviously, Dugrin's vulnerable to uh, anything that goes through his armor. Uh, Su Zhao's um, ability that makes everyone bloodied is particularly dangerous for him. And then, you know, you follow that up. If you follow that up with a couple pushes, then he'd be, uh, he'd be finished. So, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for uh, more of these videos. And if you follow me on Instagram at Tabletop Never Stop, you can actually vote on which champion I'll be covering next. So I'll see you then, and thanks so much for watching.